Hey Scorpio, Rising Storm here. So I'm going to be de doing your journal love reading for now until the end of November. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch the storyline to however you would like, alright? So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energy Scorpio, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the end of November? So I already shuffled the cards and I laid some out, okay? I got a little bit interrupted, but that's okay. So I'm going to redo this and start over. So your overall view is the Nine of Cups to the Seven of Cups in reverse. So there's some sort of realization here about having a wish fulfillment in regards to the situation. All right, you have the High Priestess here. So I, I'm getting like you guys are, you and the person that you're dealing with, it's like you're very silent when it comes to them. And I see like right now you're choosing yourself or you're choosing to be single from this person. Okay, you may be trying to use your intuition when it comes to this, but I'm getting you guys being very silent towards one another. And there's a sense of avoidance here as well because you got the Tower in reverse to the Ace of Wands in reverse. So you may be avoiding a new start with this person or you may be avoiding some new beginning it's like you feel like you have to avoid this person and remain single or remain distant from them okay you could be done with the fire sign it doesn't have to be but that's what i'm getting you're being very silent and i feel like with this nine of cups to the seven of cups in reverse it could be some sort of realization in regards to you choosing yourself or you remaining sing single or you remaining focused on yourself and not focus on this person here for some of you okay your person has the devil in reverse to the three of cups. So whoever this is, this is toxic. This is someone who's toxic as hell. All right. They really don't have nothing to bring into the table. This is someone who right now is emotionally distant from you. I don't know if they had others in regards to the situation with that three of cups there. But whoever this is, this is someone who's acting like they're not attached to this connection or their I feel like this is someone who's remaining distant on purpose with that three of cups in reverse to the devil card there. And at the same time, it's like they have the Six of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone who just likes attention or they just like to receive attention, okay? I'm getting that this is someone who's not looking to have a new start or they're really not stable within themselves here to even have something serious or offer something serious. All right, with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Six of Wands, I feel like they like they like your attention or there's something here in regards to attention that they would like but they're not coming in for a brand new start or they're not looking to have something stable or like a serious offer with this ace of pentacles in reverse there why is it all happening the hermit card you're dealing with the virgo or capricorn it could be any sign really i clarified the hermit to the ten of pentacles so why is it all happening you guys being withdrawn right in regards to having something long term or in regards to having something stable with that ten of pentacles there so you guys are basically withdrawn from one another and whoever this is that you're dealing with scorpio this is somebody um uh, i don't know if they had others why is that double card in reverse there show me the devil in reverse yeah they're very emotionally unavailable okay whoever this is they're emotionally unavailable or at least they act like it I feel like who are, I feel like this person they do deep down have feelings for you or they do deep down have some sort of connection or they are aware of their connection but the problem is is that they're not choosing you they're very emotionally unavailable very toxic with that devil card there we're dealing with the water sign um how does Scorpio see this person what can you tell me how does Scorpio see this person? You see them as the Five of Cups in reverse. Why the Five of Cups in reverse for? You're not as hurt like you used. Mm. You see this person at some point in time. They, they disappointed you at some point in time. Or there's some sort of sadness or disappointment. Why is that Five of Cups in reverse there for how you see this person? You see this person as someone you're moving on from or you're distancing yourself. Why is that Ten of Cups there? You see this person as someone who's very inconsistent or someone who's very in and out or tends to be very in and out with this Knight of Wands there. But it's saying that it's like you're, you see this person as someone maybe who hurt you in the past. But it's like you're over it or you're getting over that disappointment or they don't have that 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 control or that pull over you like they used to <sighs> show me this ten of cups please clearly show me the ten of cups 
I feel like you... I don't know, man. There's something here in regards to... I feel like on some level, even though you are separated from this person and you guys are at a distance from one another, I feel like on some level you see this person as someone that you could possibly have a connection with or have something serious or something committed or have it all with them. But at the same time, it's kind of like you're, 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 you're not as sad or disappointed like you used to be why is that five of cups there yeah you see this person as someone that you cut off you cut this person off or either you found certain things out or certain things were revealed or known or maybe you got tired of the bullshit or whatever the case may be but it's like you made a decision to cut this person off and you see this person as someone that you're not wanting to repeat or not wanting to redo again but at the same time it's like a little part of you is still seeing this person as someone that possibly could have a commitment or maybe you could be thinking in your head of what ifs that could probably happen with this person but it's like you know that you have to sever ties with them how does this person see scorpio how does this person see scorpio How does this person see Scorpio, please? What can you tell me? They see you as the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Why the Three of Pentacles in reverse? I don't like that. Why is that Three of Pentacles in reverse for? So they see you as... Uh, <laughs> whoever this is, they can't get their act together. It's like they have feelings for you. They do have emotions. They just don't know how to deal with it or they, they don't know how to express it or this is someone who's stuck in their ways of a, of a toxic person or whatever the case may be. It's kind of like you can't fix someone who doesn't want to be fixed or doesn't want to, to, to want the exact same things as you want because actions speak louder than words at the end of the day. So that's what I'm getting. No matter if this person definitely sees you as... It's like they do have feelings there. They do have emotions. But at the end of the day, it's not enough. They see you as someone who probably wouldn't come to want to, wouldn't want to come together or wouldn't want to be on the same page. Right? Wouldn't want to be friends or at least come together or be on the same page or be friends I, I, they, they see you as someone who is at a distance or who is not wanting to come together or at least be cordial with them but at the same time they see you as the king of cups so there is a level of feelings that they do have but whoever this is they can't get their shit right or they can't get their shit together and i feel like scorpio you may be choosing yourself at the end of the day What actions will Scorpio be taking, if not yet already? What actions will Scorpio be taking, if not yet already, please? What can you tell me? The strain card? Clarify the strain card. You could be done with the Leo. Mm. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I see you healing. Oh, I see you just basically holding back. Maybe you could be in the process of healing. Um, temperance for the strain card here. I don't see you taking much action when it comes to this person, if anything at all. You may be healing when it comes to them as well with that temperance card and the strength card, the strength card there. So you're just basically going to be holding back, doing you, focusing on yourself. You did get the king of pentacles in reverse in the previous reading before this one. So you're just doing you. Why the temperance there? Yeah, you're not fighting for this. You're not fighting for this anymore. So maybe at some point in time you were you were giving this a lot of energy or you were um but you're letting this go. You're finding your own your own balance here when it comes to this person and yourself. What actions will this person be taking towards Scorpio if not yet already? What actions will this person be taking towards Scorpio if not yet already? Two of Swords in Reverse. Why the Two of Swords in Reverse? For some of you, this person tends to play the. They tend to, they tend to play the. They do the blame game. You know, they blame you for stuff. Why is that Two of Swords in Reverse? They're gonna be ignoring this. So whoever this is, childish, childish energy. Okay, you get Page of Pentacles in Reverse. 
to be dealing with someone younger, very immature. But um, I'm getting that they are going to be ignoring this. So their next actions is to ignore this, not feed this, right? Not communicate, not reach out. So they're ignoring you or they're ignoring this whole situation. They're sweeping it under the rug. They're going to be ignoring, they're going to be ignoring this. All right, well, okay. So what are Scorpio's intentions when it comes to this person? What can you tell me? What are Scorpio's intentions, please? Ten of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse. Your intentions is to drop this. I feel like you're just going to be very silent. Your intentions is to keep to yourself, not speak to this person. It's like you're, you're, you're secretly deep down letting this go or dropping it. I see you dropping the burden or letting this go. Ten of Wands in reverse. So you're going to be just letting the drama go, the... The burden of this whole connection go why the moon card yeah your 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 intentions is to sever ties with this person you're cutting this person off i don't know if this is someone who kept secrets from you or they were very secretive at one point or they had others there with that three of Pent three of pentacles and the three of cups in reverse there but you're 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 letting this go moon card ten of wands in reverse queen of swords you're not feeding this anymore Maybe dealing with the Pisces, it doesn't have to be. But what is this person's intentions with Scorpio? What can you tell me? What is this person's intentions with Scorpio? The Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Their intentions is what? Clarify this Ace of Swords. <laughs> Their intentions is to come towards you with an apology. So it's kind of like they their intentions here is to come with some sort of truth or whatever it is that they think their version of the truth is. Ace of Swords, Page of Cups. So their intentions is to come towards you to have some sort of new beginning or apologize in regards to whatever it is that happened. But I don't I I think it's bullshit. All right. So their intentions is to come towards you to clear the air or um have some sort of communication or at least apologize to you with this page of page of cups there why is that ace of swords to the page of cups the sun in reverse they they're unhappy whoever this is whatever it is that they're doing in their life they're not happy okay they're very they're very unhappy very unsatisfied all right why the sun in reverse? Could be dealing with the Leo, the judgment in reverse. This person's very stubborn though. They may feel like you wouldn't give them a second chance, and it kind of looks like you, you know, the looks of it. Queen of Swords in reverse, Ten of Wands, you're dropping this or you're letting this go. But what's the possible outcome for this situation? What can you tell me for now until the ending of November? What can you tell me? What's the possible outcome here? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's not invested into this anymore. I don't see you investing your energy and time or working on this connection, if anything. All right. Give me one more for the possible outcome. The Nine of Swords in reverse. Why is all this happening? The Empress in reverse. A, last, a lack of growth, expansion, things not being nurtured or getting off the ground. I don't see you investing time and energy when it comes to this person. Why is that Seven of Pentacles in reverse? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. That talks about not investing time and energy. You put a lot of time and energy into this and you wasted your time. The situation got you feeling stuck. Why is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse? Justice. Why the Nine of Swords in reverse there? Queen of Cups. I don't see anybody opening up or anybody here even remotely trying to reach out or trying to make things right or amend, amend things at this time. The World card. I do see you guys. Somebody here can maybe be watching somebody from afar or keeping tabs. This could be you or them. I don't know who. Okay. Maybe them. Could be. But why is that Seven of Pentacles in reverse? One more time. 
I feel like you're going to be focused on yourself because it's like you know the situation is doomed for or you know that this is someone who isn't stable within themselves. There's no stability with that four of wands there. They're always in their head. They, they don't really move. I don't feel like you're going to be in... You're going to be focused on yourself. And it's like you're not... You're going to be moving on with that chariot card there as well. I don't see you putting the work and time or even this person trying to reach out if, if any... Clarify the Empress in reverse. Yeah, and the Six of Pentacles for why it's all happening. A lack of growth or expansion. Things not being balanced. I don't see you guys being... I don't feel like you're going to be putting that energy and time into this. If anything, something here, here still feels like a, the situation is unfair or not balanced. And I, quite frankly, I feel like eventually you're not going to be as much as you're in your head like you used to be before with that Nine of Swords in reverse there. You're going to be very close off emotionally. For some of you, I see that there's a possible new start for someone else or someone new to come into the picture. It could be a water sign for some of you. I don't know if that's the case or if you're dealing with someone new. or, But I'm just putting it out there, okay? But that's what I'm getting. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you on the next video.